Hello, this is Chucky J. I'm going to show you an unranked match that I played yesterday. Um, I've kind of come to the decision that I'm not going to do very well if I'm trying to talk and play the game at the same time, especially since I'm such a noob. So this is an unranked match. I'm going to go up against this level 21 Zerg player here. Um, and uh, from the level 21, I, I'm assuming that he uh, he or she knows what they're doing. Um, so again, this is this is one of those maps where there's only one other base, so I know where they're going to be coming from. Um, kind of wondering whether Zerg is going to try and rush me with Zerglings or uh, try and do something else. Um, and I'm planning on doing my same strategy that I've been describing, which is kind of a very basic <laughs> strategy. Uh, defend myself and uh, try to expand. And as I'm defending myself and expanding to my natural, if I feel like I've won a battle decisively, then I will march and uh, attempt to uh, take the guy out or at least do some significant damage. Um, so starting out here, I was trying again to uh, get my macro economy going. Um, Got to say the GLHF. Um, and I did a pretty good job of that. I think it... I can't remember if it's this match or the next match where I got supply blocked when I've I've really done a pretty good job of that recently, but one of these two games I, I got supply blocked supply blocked pretty bad. It's probably the next one. Um So I I, I was a week rusty here. I I had a couple days out of town and then had just been doing a lot of work. So I was feeling pretty rusty, especially when it comes to the hotkeys, which I'm still having a hard time learning. Um, I gotta remember that E is for probes, and E is for um, pylons. A is for the gas assimilator. Uh, I still haven't gotten Y down for the uh, the core, whatever it's called. Um, other than that, I think I'm doing okay as far as that goes. I'm trying to stick to my same uh, other hotkeys where I set the uh, the gateways to control group 3. Um, and that's working out pretty well. So, again, my strategy is get, get, some, uh, get some zealots out, block off the ramp, and um, I really should have sc started scouting by now. That's the main thing that I forgot. Um, I did a pretty good job of putting out pylons such that I can see the ramp. Um, that's one thing I definitely didn't want to have happen is um, people, you know, uh, a scouting unit scooting past me and I didn't even realize it. Um, I've been watching a, a good deal of videos and... I definitely don't want to have uh, a proxy inside my base type situation going on. Um, I think those are some of the more embarrassing things that you can have happen to you. So proxy, if you don't know, means that you go, you leave, you have one of your workers leave your base and go near to or inside of the other person's base and start building buildings there, so that. Um, so that you can get start making uh, military units closer to their base. So it's it's basically it's part of the strategy really um, of much of many uh, Protoss players because they have the ability to build the um, the warp gate. Yeah, warp gate, uh, which turns your gateways into warp gates, and you can just uh, transport in. Uh, units. So you build a pylon somewhere near the other guy's base and start uh, beaming in <laughs> units. Uh, so I actually researched gateway right away, which 
thankful I'm very thankful to my uh, my commenters for the support and for the hints um, it's still gonna take me some practice to always remember to research gateway and then turn all of my or uh, it's not gateway warp gate research warp gate and turn all of my gateways into warp gates because um, I'll just start making a bunch of units and just completely completely forget about it. The other thing I wanted to do is get out a uh, get out the mothership or mothership core, so that I had some uh, more mobile defense. Um, and as you can see in the, uh, I'm not watching it right now because uh, I'm not paying attention. Um, I was getting attacked on the ramp. So thankfully my guys took out their Zerglings fairly quickly. Um, and I went back and watched this game later. And uh, we'll see that they have a very singular strategy. This, this player has a, uh, not a very uh, creative strategy. Um, I guess you, you won't actually be able to see it because we're not doing the replay. Maybe I should do that. Instead, um, basically, if it, if we were able to see their base right now, you would see that they, um, contrary to what Zerg are supposed to do, they actually haven't expanded yet. So they're only able to make a certain number of units. They d they did have a queen that was um, increasing the number of larvae. I forget what it's called, but queens can they keep attacking me with Zerglings and take out a few of my uh, zealots. So I made some more. I brought the mothership core over closer. I was hoping that where I had positioned it, they'd, they would be able to shoot on enemies coming up the ramp, but I didn't put it close enough. Um, and I was, you can see I've made the robotics core, and I'm starting to make... Um, it's not Colossus. What in the world? Uh, brain freeze. Um... I don't remember even remember what it's called. Um, so I started making some robotics units. Um, I wanted to have a fairly balanced um, army, but little did I know they had not expanded at all. But it wasn't a. But they weren't doing a rush either. They were just making a ton of zerglings. So. They continue to make Zerglings. They're going to bring a bunch more. I shouldn't say rush. Not rush. Um, they're going to bring in a bunch more Zerglings here. And I'm actually not really prepared for it. If uh, Is this the game that I'm thinking of? No. Yeah, it must be. Because the other one was on a different map. Um, so they're, they're making a bunch of Zerglings. And what they've done down in their base is made a second hatchery. Um, inside their main base, with for the purpose of making more, uh, more, more units. Um, they need more larvae to make more units. So what you're supposed to do is expand to your natural fairly quickly, and you know, and then you make you've got larvae at your natural and at your main base. Um, but they didn't do that for some reason, so. I guess they just haven't learned that yet, um, which is kind of weird for a level 21. Maybe this was their first time playing Zerg, but um, I w you kind of learn that in the campaign. Um, I guess not really. There are some maps uh, where there are a lot of minerals and gas in your main base, but you still, c even in the campaign, you can only make as many units as you have larva. So... Um, I knew about that from playing, you know, StarCraft II original. So I, in the campaign, I would always go looking for a second base, even if I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, to defend it or not. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm continuing to diversify my army, which I probably did too much of. Um, so I, I, I called those... Those three uh, zealots were my, kind of my scouts, but they didn't even make it up the ramp. They, so, n But now I know that they have roaches and zerglings. Um, but I don't know. I didn't actually look at their natural, which I wish I had done. Um, but it turns out not to matter. 
Um, I did make an observer just in case they decided to make some uh, some cloaked units, and I went ahead and made an oracle and a and a void ray. I didn't realize that you have to activate the uh, the oracle's main weapon. Um, it has three abilities, and I haven't really learned how to use them yet, so I'm gonna have to work on that. And I. Maybe this is where I got supply block because I just started making a bunch of pylons. Um, so I'm reaching, researching my ground upgrades at the forge. I'm making uh, Oracle and a Void Ray, and I, I think I ended up making like four Void Rays. Um, so they're making this massive army of Zerglings and Roaches, and I'm making this fairly diverse army and pretty close to moving it out here. Um, I've made some units that I'm going to leave around for defense. And I'm getting ready to move my main army out. Um, I actually didn't put my main army on a hotkey, which was pretty stupid. Um, they ended up, and I, I, I've never learned how to put different, well, I haven't learned yet very well how to um, put different parts of your army on different hotkeys. But I will be doing that as I get better and uh, diversify my army even more. Um, so I've left some stalkers around, and I'm going to leave some void rays around for defense. Um, but if I had known that it was only going to be Zergling Roach, then I would not have... Uh, I, I assumed he was doing more, which is kind of a bad assumption. I should have been scouting better. Because um, void rays are good against a lot of things, but not really against Zerglings. They will eventually take them out, but... Especially since the Zerglings can't fight back. Um, but it's not really the best thing to take them out with. Um, so I've got my army. I'm sending an observer in. Uh, and I'm continuing to make defensive units. I've actually made my warp gates. And I'm using them somewhat appropriately. Uh, I've got somewhat of a overload. I, I've got too many minerals sitting in the bank. Um, but it's not horrible. Um, and I should have been making those tower. I, I, th I think I was predicting air because it had been so long. Um, I think that's why I put those towers. Those, uh, it's not towers. Um, but anyway, cannons. I think that's why I put the cannons there. Um, I should have been putting them at the, at the uh, natural expansion. That's the logical place to put those. Um, I don't. I. I didn't. Uh, there you go. Okay, so they've sent in a bunch of zerglings, and I think the roaches are coming in now. So yeah, my main army is close to their base, and they are proceeding to take out my natural. So, thankfully, that wasn't the only way I was making money, but it was pretty devastating. Um, so I proceeded to take the guys that were defending my main and send them down and uh, they did they did what they needed to do they took out enough units that it wasn't quite so scary um, now the mothership core has a uh, mass recall but I had not actually used it yet so I didn't know how close I needed to be to the units and all that kind of stuff so I'm actually going to mass recall all my attacking guys back to defend my main base and um, but there's still a ton of Zerglings and Roaches over there. Um, so I'm also... I think I'm also going to beam in some more units, too. Um, yeah. Make some more Zealots. Now, I, I had lost my pylons at the natural, so I had to make them uh, at my main. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supply blocked because they had destroyed all those pylons that I made over there. So I actually couldn't make anything there. But thankfully, my Stalkers and my... Um, the units I had made I'm going to learn all these names eventually um, were pretty good at taking out their oh they had made Hydras too, that's right so Zergling Roach Hydras, not a bad mix especially um, they had some pretty good anti-air okay so at this point I'm starting to make some more units I'm going to send my guys down um, to attack again and they're sending in like a bunch more Zerglings, I think. 
which I don't, I don't. Oh, that's right. See, I still have my Oracle at their main. I didn't have my, I didn't have the attack mode activated. So I could have been doing a lot more damage there, and I just wasn't because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but that was a win. Um, I would say the number one reason why I won is because they didn't expand. Um, they eventually ended up having a, a pretty good army that they built, but it just took too long. I, I had um, built up a pretty substantial army and gotten some upgrades at that point. So um, units trained. Of course, they made a bunch of Zergling, so they made way more units than I did. Um, but I had a, a bunch more structures. I guess I needed pylons, so that makes sense. Um, unfortunately, build order doesn't show you all the way down, because um, I kind of looked at their build order, and it only, since they made so many Zerglings, it only goes down to six minutes. Um, I, don't, I imagine there's a way to see the full build order, but I don't know what it is. So I, did, I actually can't see where they switched to making roaches. Um, so spawning pool at nine. Um, okay, workers active. I was clobbering them because I expanded. Oh, I did go into the replay. All right, so I may s kind of uh, skip through this a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I did it at fast speed. Okay, we'll glance at this real quick. So, yeah, you can see what I was talking about. Um... They didn't GLHF, I don't think, which uh, means either they <laughs> don't want to or they're uh, too worried about their own game. I, I just have to think that maybe they're a Terran player or a Protoss player and are, weren't used to Zerg yet, trying to learn in Unranked. And um, if you're like that, just know that you, you unless you're Zergling rushing me, you've got to expand. That's kind of like a default thing for Zerg. Um, there's really no choice. So they, they built fairly early gas, I think. And I don't know why, because they weren't making a lot of gas units. They need. They, I think you need some for roaches, but um, not a lot. So they made a ton of Zerglings. I kind of saw what was going on, but I didn't realize... I didn't. I just didn't scout the natural like I should have, which was pretty stupid. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> where is your second phase, bro? <laughs> yeah, I said that in in the uh, replay. <laughs> yeah, so he didn't expand, and I was preparing to expand. Really, Zer Zergling, Zergs should be one base ahead, pretty much, of Protoss, is my understanding. Maybe even more, um, because they need those extra larvae. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to show for right now, because um, I've already explained kind of what happened. See, there's their Zergling Roach, and they started adding Hydras, which is not a bad idea. It's just... They needed they needed a lot more units at that point. I'm I'm ahead of them in in supply count, um, which is not good. So I think that'll be it for now. We'll end this. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna show you a ranked match next. And um, really appreciate all of you guys that are watching, and uh, some of you guys that are giving tips. Um, for me, it's really just a matter of practice. It's not, I mean, there are a lot of things that I don't know, but it's also a matter of practice. Like, I know I need warp gate. It's just a matter of actually doing it a bunch and making that part of my, part of my mental process. So thanks for all the help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.